Well, that's what the bumper back, but it doesn't fit that well actually. The holes aren't lining up perfectly, unfortunately. But uh, let's see what we do about it. Without the, the metal frame. see the the made by sign it's from a G W G D W Belium the Toyota Previa 90 to 0, 0 so does the tow bar fit straight on no as you can see here, we have a hole, but uh, no hole here, no hole, just here, and uh, it doesn't get on all either. And uh, the holes down there are also a bit mismatched. You can see it. Uh, yeah. So I'll have to drill that, and also. I think this uh, bumper might have had some kind of uh, push here because it's it's tight here but not on this side so I'll try to uh, to beat this part up and uh, see if I can align this bit better never easy never easy it's a lot of work doing this tow bar. It says three hours, but I have added a lot more so far. And that includes the elect electronics, which I haven't even begun with. Before I drill I, I make one last check that everything is aligned and then I haven't made any mistakes. So it's time to drill.
and now it's sprayed with uh, boiled oil seed. If you have followed my channel, you know that that's one of my favorites. Stopping rust. Yeah, wet uh, oil, uh, and this will dry. Then I will put some uh, bithium mass all over it. I will also anti-rust protect these parts. So, I've rust protected it. Looks shiny. Shiny by boy seed oil. Yeah. So finally I got the tow bar in place. put some uh, rust protection on it and now we have to mount the plastic bumper outside the frame yeah the tow bar is in place of the plastic bumper now I have to screw it together. So before putting back these uh, bolts, I put some uh, some grease on it. It will be easier to to get off if I have to get it off again. I usually do that with the bolts that. That I think might have to be removed again. They get out easier. So I'm putting back these bolts and then these parts here. And then the plastic bumper is back. So the metal frame is attached to the plastic bumper it's attached by four bolts up up here and then as you can see that one that one that one and that one so totally eight bolts are holding the plastic bumper to the metal frame so the final thing is to put this bolt on these nuts and do it inside there so, I'll have to clean up this part here, and uh, so I can attach the bolt from the side. On this side, there are already holes, so I don't have to clean so much. I just need to clean, well, I'm having a hard time getting there. I have to clean outside here, and outside here, and also here. Since the control system, the mandatory control system, I don't know what you call it in English, but uh, they, they want it to be clean, so that the bolts can be really tight. Get it? So these side holes has to be cleaned on this side. And I hope you can see that I have started to clean up the bolts. 
has to be clean so the spacers and the bolts tightly fit to the frame yep so that's what I'm doing now I've just removed the so here I have cleaned it uh, as you can see the the spacer that will hold it will hold the bolt has to be clean the, the area behind it has to be clean so make sure that it is flat and, uh, and that I have done now as you can see so there you have it cleaned and then I have put uh, lean seed oil on it lean seed oil is so thin that it won't uh, disrupt the, the torque and uh, fastening of the tow bar I've also done the other side this is the other side here you can see the places where the tow bar go, will go as you can see the spare wheel is removed I started putting it back started sliding it in I'll just continue now Before putting back the tow bar, I'm uh, putting in this this uh, foam. Don't know what you call it. Sorry. Yeah, goes to the left side also. <coughs> Finally, the bolts are in place. Five bolts on this side also, the left side. last thing to mount is the the bowl the bowl I call it the bowl yep yeah. it will go here four four bolts so there are four m12 bolts that uh, goes into these parts and uh, this part, I guess, is holding is the wire that's holding in case if the the caravan is is connected. The, there's a wire that goes inside there, so I guess this will be mounted like this. So finally, the tow bar is in place. Yeehoo! Yeehoo! And uh, this is how. This bar is connected. Focus. Well, you can see the four bolts in this plate. Is the wire. Now remains connecting the electrics. I bought a 13 pole uh, contact. So it will be a bit harder to wire up than the normal 7 pole we have here in Sweden. Last thing is putting back the spare tire. Yep, yeah, finally. T145 slash 80 D16. So this is a 16 inch wheel as a spare tire. And there we have it. Spare tire is back. So, yeah, succeeded with the tow bar installation. Now only electronics remains. It'll be another video. Video.